Okay, so the deputies uh, from the Kaipa Police Department came up here to check out a couple guys that they thought were juveniles here at the Circle K at Bryant and Ukaipa. And they might be juveniles. Not sure. I'm gonna blur the I'm gonna blur it out a little bit so that we don't get their faces. So if you're wondering why my camera is out of focus, yeah, it's just in case they're juveniles. Uh, which I am legally allowed to film, by the way. But we'll blur the camera. We'll be professional. Now one of them was already put in this car here. And then of course over here, this one's being searched. Um, it's going to be at the Circle K at Bryant and the Boulevard. And we're going to go ahead and arrest this one now. So it's just to let you know too, it's all um, about 12:30 in the morning. So I don't know why they're out here. Who knows, right? Should be home. So the Kaipa police doing their job out here patrolling. And they're gonna go ahead and pick up the stuff. So if anybody complains about uh, this this story and says, well they look like they're under 18. Uh, that's legal, by the way. Because they're in public. So they're going through the bags. They're going through the bags. They pulled out what looks like a sweatshirt. Some clothes. Clothing. So are they runaways? Maybe? Jeans. And now he's going to go through this bag. Well, maybe not. Maybe they're waiting to do it later at the station. But they're going to go ahead and load the stuff. The two youngsters, if they are juveniles, may go home. They may just be taken to juvie. If they're adults or old enough to go there, <coughs> they may be taken to CDC Central Detention Center. Which is never fun. Trying to see what they got in the bags. I know they got clothing and so forth in you know, one of the bags. Looks like they're checking the stuff out from the bags. They got mail. Is that no? Tell me my eyes are deceiving me. Tell me these guys don't have people's mail. Is mail right? Those are letters, mail and stuff. The deputy's going through mail. Tell me that's not stolen mail from people's mailbox. <clears throat> no, my eyes have to be deceiving me. Those look like pieces of mail that the deputy is going through, but we don't know that that's not their mail. You know, that they're homeless or whatever. I, I don't want to assume anything. <clears throat> but to the residents of Yucaipa, California, this is what's happening in your community while you sleep at night things like this. I mean, the two guys were arrested for something. They're in the back of the sheriff's car. He's gonna go through another bag now. That's mail. That's people's mail. That, unless, I mean, if that's their mail, what do they, like, check their mailbox once every two weeks? That is unbelievable, dude. 
I, I can't believe it. This is good that we're getting this. If anybody lives in the area of Bryant, Yukaipa, and you've been missing mail or not getting your mail, you might want to contact the police department in Yukaipa. Ask them if they found any stolen mail. Just ask them. You know, if you were expecting a bill or a card in the mail or something and you never received it, you might want to contact the Kaipa Police Department and ask them, did they find stolen mail with your address? Of course, they may be contacting you if that's the case. See from here that that's mail. I, I hope that that's theirs and not some stolen mail. You gotta be kidding me. I did hear the deputy ask, why do you have all that mail? Well, he has no answer, I guess. Or not a sufficient answer. So I'll be arrested. Good for them. So again, the Yukaipa Police Department has your best interest at heart. The real Jimmy Hens, keeping it real for you.